Hey, what's going on, guys? I hope you guys are well. And uh, we finished uh, training hamstrings today. And uh, I am knackered. I am tired. I feel bruised. I feel broken. Um, yeah, humiliation. Um, that's what I feel like, really. My mind is weak. Uh, like right now, I've just, um, to be quite honest with you, I've just had a, uh, uh, a box full of uh, Domino's pizza, you know what I mean? I've just smashed some pepperoni pizza here because what happened is uh, I was work this morning. I went to work this morning, 8 till about 12, or till about half past 11, should I say. And I only had um, 10 eggs and uh, Amy was kind of busy, so we had to train hamstrings so I didn't really eat much do you know what I mean and uh, the only thing I had was my cab drink uh, my intro workout call it and uh, and some pre-workout and because my legs were already hurting anyway uh, my quads I thought like I was gonna say to him let's just go in and um, let's do what let's let's see what we can do and uh, I didn't think it was gonna be a hard session <laughs> <laughs> that was actually wishful thinking because you know sometimes I feel like you don't even have to tell Amy if 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 you tell Amy like um, you know you're not feeling great things are hurting you haven't eaten I think she'll punish you but today I just thought like listen I'm not right I've trained I feel like I've trained hard this week I've stepped it up definitely um, it may not it may not seem that much or great, but I, I feel I feel shattered. Everything is hurting. So I, I, I got down there. We had some pre-workout. We had a little chat, you know, seeing what's going on, you know. And then was like, right, let's go train. You know what I mean? So we went in, started with some, uh, you know, our reverse hypers. Um, it was feeling great. We we're having a good laugh. You know, when you warm up, you're talking. You know, you're trying to gauge where you chat, where you at. And I just kept saying, I think I don't know how many times I've said that. I says, oh, my quads have not recovered. I even asked her, like, you know, how's your legs? She goes, oh, I can still feel mine, but they're all right. So that's all maybe it was just me, you know. But anyway, we did some in and out of thighs, you know, the normal stuff. And um, she actually wanted to do some Romanian uh, kind of like third exercise in because, you know, we were still fresh. But because we, we, we couldn't, she said she, uh, her hamstrings weren't warm. So we did some uh, seated leg curls. Uh, I mean, again, today I think we, we did our warm-up sets and then we did the working set with a drop set. And um, I mean, I felt okay, but then when I clamped down the pad, you know, on the hamstring uh, uh, machine, um, it was hurting my quads. So like, you know, when you push it down in that, <laughs> and then when you start curling on that seated curl, all that pressure goes onto your quads and they, they were just hurting. Like, you know, sometimes when you train legs, you know, and, you sit and you're just chilling and somebody just pokes your quads, you know, it hurts, you know what I mean? And imagine like all that force, you know, on that leg press, or on, on that uh, leg curl. So I, I just I just got on with it, you know. I, I could have moaned every single time, um, but I, I just got on with it. I was like, look, it's gonna hurt. Let's just go, you know, strong mindset. Um, don't care about anything, you know. We're here, we're here at war. We've made a decision that we need to be here. Anyway, if you didn't want to be here, you shouldn't have said you, you shouldn't, you should have said, you should have stayed at home. Do you know what I mean? So that that's the kind of attitude I had. So, you know, I was like, let's go. And I think that pushed me through because I just thought, I said, look, I'm not going to moan as much. Just moan in your head, but don't, don't say it out loud. Don't interrupt the workout. Don't interrupt the floor because you know when you're working out with someone and sometimes if you're not feeling it and if they're not feeling great you can see it but if they're trying that will actually spare you on to go but then if you can see it and then they're moaning about it it's just you know it just diminishes the whole training session you know there's that energy it just goes so you feel like you're dragging you're dragging somebody through a workout rather than working together and then pushing each other to the limits and beyond <laughs> if you know what I mean so that's what it was. So I just so you know, just suck it up, buttercup. Um, don't be a little bitch. And I did. He got me through. The drop set was actually okay. She made me do heavy sets. Uh, it wasn't a crazy drop set. Um, 
then after that we went in uh, and uh, did some uh, stiff legged -like deadlift I mean I was still feeling strong and when we got to the stiff legged -like deadlift my mind was like right let's go get it let's go let's go after it because uh, I mean I, I I like to think I'm a good I'm a strong deadlifter uh, I, I mean I have my, my best ever deadlift was 250 kilograms and that's like I was like when I was doing deadlifts every day for 100 days um, yeah I did that uh, I think there's some videos I did that every day I deadlift every day anyway for 100 days and I think I ended up squatting in between as well um, not that I would advise anybody to do it but it was just like a fun challenge you know so I did my best ever was 250 kilograms and I always love deadlift but then since, since I pulled my back um, I've always been a bit iffy with deadlifts especially when it comes to deadlifts I didn't want to push them that much so yeah so we got we, we warmed up with 60 Amy did 60 Amy did 80 and I did 100 and then I think Amy did two sets actually with the 100 kilograms because she was just she's not like any any heavier than that it wasn't worthwhile you know since i said she's injured so then i then did uh, three plates and then um amy was like yo you gotta do it because last week i did 170 i don't know if you guys re remember so i was like right we gotta go 180 you know we're gonna go so i did 180 kilo 180 kilograms now as i'm saying here i don't know how many reps i did because i went in saying i'm gonna go get six reps but then Amy said, one more, keep going, you're strong, go after it. So she was just shouting at me as I was deadlifting him. So I was like, right, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going till I can't really. So like when I got to my like eighth or ninth or what I said, tenth or eleventh, whatever rep I thought, I thought this was it. She then said two more. I was like, Jesus Christ. So then I did two more, and then she then said one more. I was like, Jesus, we're going after it today, aren't we? You know, so in my mind, all I'm thinking is just stop. But I did do the last one, and then she then said one more. I was like, nah, I ended up just dropping it, you know what I mean? Because I, could, I couldn't get, I couldn't, I couldn't. That was like failure. But I was thinking, like, how many reps did I do? And I didn't, I didn't know. But my lower back, my lower back was on fire. It was just super pumped. I couldn't just, I couldn't stand straight. Do you know what I mean? I felt like I had to lay down uh, and just give him a good stretch. But then, by then, this is like an hour, hour and an hour and a bit in, an hour and fifty minutes in. And I thought, actually, after the Romanian deadlift, the straight legged deadlifts, we're done. You know, there's nothing much. And she says, "All right, you know, I wanted us to do some squats today." I'm like, "Squats," you know. This is in my head. I'm like, okay, let's go after it. All right, it's squats. It says, it says um, which squats do you want to do? You want to do barbell squats or you want to do like the, the is it the V squat or that squat machine we, we used? And I said, look, listen, don't give me an option. Just tell me what I need to do and let me do it. And let's do it, sorry. And then she just chose that machine. And again, we, by then my, my lower back was pumped. And I was like, right, I don't want to pull my back. I don't want to use my back anymore and I was like right either you could just say look I'm not doing it or either you just get on with it or you can just do lightweight and I was like right we're going I'm just going to try and do whatever Amy can do on that machine will go you know what I mean but then I just kept it quiet <laughs> dying inside you know dying inside like a man take it as a man you know what I mean so I think we did like three plates for the first set and then um we did four sets, four four plates again, and Amy went on to five sets. And then she was putting the weight up. I was like, oh, my lower back, man. But I just said, you know what, Wes? This is it, you know. Get in there and do the best you can. And I remember saying to myself, I need to breathe out, push my belly into the belly to stop my lower back hurting or to stop the pain. And... It actually did work it's a lot harder but i was actually using good technique <laughs> not a lazy technique like i normally do you know what i'm saying so it actually felt quite better because i was forcing myself so in the midst of like me struggling with a pumped lower back because probably every time i'm doing those deadlifts in any exercise my abs i am not, i haven't got a strong trunk here I'm, I'm just relaxing and every my lower back is taking the pain you know what i mean so it actually taught me a good thing in the midst of all of that 
um, you know, squatting and I don't want to squat, didn't want to be here type thing. So I ended up doing five plates, I think for a good eight reps, you know. And I think Amy was proper fired up because now she just goes and says, right, go in for six. And then I do six reps and just as I'm about to like lock it in, she goes, right, two more or like one more. And then she says, and again. And then it's something like, you know, when somebody shouts at you, it's not, it's not like, in the back of my mind, I don't like being shouted there eh? because I think it's kind of like disrespectful. But in those moments, it felt good, like, right, come on, you got to do this, you know. At least it, it, it strikes something within you to say, right, you know, this is serious. And then obviously with my mindset, I'm like, yes. You know, if there is somebody shouting that loud, it means that this is, we, need, we need this. This is, we, it's, it's better like we need these reps. You can do it. Because they can see what, Amy can see, like, I've got a couple of more reps in me. Although I might not have, or I might have a little, she can tell um, from my body, from my, from my body language, you know what I mean? So, you know, I just went for it. And then we finished and I thought, you know what, this is it. It's time to go home. And as I was grabbing my bottle and my camera and taking the stand down, I seen her walk over to the leg curl, the laying leg curl. And I was like, Jesus Christ, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> I says we're gonna be here forever and you know like I said the other day as the workout goes Amy just keep getting stronger and stronger into the workout and uh, yeah so we did some sit some uh, laying leg curls of which you know to be honest with you I didn't even go heavy like I normally do on that machine because I was just I was, I was just I was just done I was done then I was done even Amy just seen she was like you know I appreciate you you know, you're not giving up. You're not saying, I don't want to do it. It says, it's good that you 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 are, you know, <laughs> still doing the sets. Although it's lightweight, but you're still here. You're not walking off like some other people do. And I thought that was that was really good. But then the thing I didn't tell her about my food, like I didn't tell her like I've only had eggs. Because if I had said that, that would have been like an error, innit? An error on my part. I got punished for that, you know what I mean? So I just had to, I just had to stick it up. But then... We did like three sets on there and then uh, and the drop set. I didn't even bother recording it because my mind wasn't in it. I just didn't go, look, I'm not even going to set the camera up. I'm not even going to record that. We're just going to do the set because I thought we were just going to lunge to finish. You know, I'm going to do some lunges. I was like, now nah, I got to concentrate and blank everything in my mind and just like do the work, do the sets and then let's get out of here. So yeah, we, we did that and then it was, it was game over. It, it was done. And I remember I was sat there on, on that uh, leg, uh, lying leg curl machine, sat there thinking, oh my God, what a workout. Then I was like, right, what do I do? Do I go home? I was like, right, I've got some food at home. I was like, nah, I don't, I don't even want to eat the rice. I don't even want to eat anything. I just need some carbs. I need some food fast. So I drove to KFC, you know what I mean? <laughs> I drove to KFC and for a piece of chicken, Oh, for some chicken, I was like, I'll get some chicken down here. And then as I was in there going through the menu, I was like, nah, you know what? We need to put some proper, some proper carbs in here. So I went there and said, like, well, let's go to Domino's. So I've just smashed the pepperoni uh, pizza and I feel kind of okay now, but I think now it set my stomach pretty well. Um, I don't know how many calories is in there, but I need to go eat some more at home. And uh, maybe I might have some more eggs. Yeah, and then eat all my meals, the rice, the rice and mince and the tuna potato that I've left home that needs to be eaten. Yeah, it is what it is. Proper rest day tomorrow, rest my body. And then on Monday, we're back on legs again. Would you believe it? Back on legs. I don't know how I'm going to get through it. Um, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just thinking that today is done. Today's project is done. Sunday is a resting project. Monday is a quad project. Whatever goes, I'll be there and I'll make sure I'm ready, I've eaten and, uh, <laughs> and they give the best fight as possible. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, as always guys, thank you for listening and I uh, hope you guys have a good day and uh, keep training and uh, push hard and let's get stronger. Right, we out.